If you were in the middle of a vacation and got a call asking you to head up a state agency plagued with problems, would you say yes? Veteran private and public sector executive Pam Wheelock did when Governor Tim Walz asked her to become interim commissioner of the Department of Human Services. Esme Murphy has tonight's talking points. The Minnesota Department of Human Services has an $18 billion budget, 6,700 employees, and serves roughly a million Minnesotans, many of whom are the state's most vulnerable citizens. On top of that, DHS is going through a pretty rocky time. Last week, the commissioner, Tony Lurie, abruptly resigned as did his chief of staff. This after two top deputy commissioners, Charles Johnson and Claire Wilson, announced they were leaving. But after Lurie quit, Johnson and Wilson announced they would rescind their resignations and come back. Then there's the finding earlier this year of pervasive fraud in a DHS-administered daycare program. The DHS Inspector General, Carolyn Hamm, has been on paid leave for four months pending the outcome of an investigation. An investigation, it turns out, that just got underway. Veteran public and private servant Pam Wheelock has agreed to head up DHS temporarily. Wheelock, who was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning, says she can't comment on what's happened in the past. What exactly is going on at the Department of Human Services? You know, I, I will admit that I just wanted to assure myself that there was nothing really of a criminal or legal issue that would consume my time, and I was assured by the governor's so office no that was not the case. So there's no scandal lying under, yes. underneath this. I think between my skill set and, frankly, my availability, yeah. I was hard pressed to find a really credible reason to say no. Wheelock says she is not a candidate for the permanent position, and she's not sure how long she will serve. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News.